Hi everyone, my name is Dana Kovacic, founder and CEO of Salon Growth. Welcome to my new channel, which is all about how to make more money with less stress. Being a salon owner myself for over nine years, I've made every mistake in the book and even invented some new ones. It is my mission to help salon owners, whether you are a solo stylist, a solo entrepreneur, or you have a team of many. My mission is to help you make more money with less stress and to live a lifestyle that you've been dreaming of. In today's topic, we're going to be discussing cleaning the bottle. This is such an important topic to me. The most number one question I get asked is, why the F won't my team just do their job? And if you're a solo entrepreneur, solo stylist, perhaps you might be getting frustrated at the lack of boundaries from clients or the lack of boundaries you have in your, your salon. That sometimes you might feel that your clients use you or that you get treated like a doormat. No matter where you are in your business, team of one, team of ten, team of many, cleaning the bottle is absolutely the number one most important thing you need to do, which we're going to discover what that is in the following segment. Hey everyone, Dinah Kovacic here. Hope you're all having a fabulous week. I've been speaking to a lot of salon owners lately that really find it challenging to express and communicate what they're feeling and thinking to their team. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a visual exercise and show you what that actually does. In our salon, we call it cleaning the bottle. So this bottle is you. Without any sentiment, any emotions building up, this is just an empty bottle. So cleaning the bottle. We're going to do a bit of a scenario. So you start at 9am and team number one rocks in and rocks in at 9am, doesn't say anything. And you really want to say, hey, why are you, why are you late today? You know we've got to be here at 10 to, 10 to 9. But you don't, you keep it inside. All of a sudden, you're filling your bottle. And fill it up. So every time we don't externalize, so the gunk is staying there. It could be two days after and you haven't said anything. Now team member two stays all day and doesn't do any cleaning. Doesn't do the end of day cleaning and you rock up the next day and you see it hasn't been done. When you've already done lots of training that this is the way it needs to be. You don't know how to communicate it. You feel very frustrated, you feel very angry and you just, you just don't know what to do. Your bottle fills up again. You're keeping it all inside. So every time you're filling your bottle, you're filling up with resentment, you're filling up with anger, you're filling up with frustration. You might be filling up with overwhelm. You're filling up the bottle. The next week, something happens again. Some, one of your team members hasn't done what you think they're supposed to do. They haven't done their job in some way. You might have had a client complaint with their regrowth wasn't covered. And as a senior stylist, you feel that, that that should be done a certain way and you shouldn't be getting these complaints. But you feel you've talked about it so many times before that you just don't know what to say. So again, you're filling up your bottle. So every time you're not speaking, you keep filling up your bottle and filling up your bottle and filling up your bottle. So in the meantime, while you're filling up your own bottle, I just want you to have a think about your team members bottles. So say for example, team member one always comes to work on time, does the right thing, an exemplary employee. Then team member two is coming in nine o'clock, rocking up whenever, and you don't say anything. Now team member one who does the right thing sees that you're not talking to team member two and perhaps her bottle starts filling up. Why doesn't team member two get talked to? Why do I have to do the right thing when she doesn't? Why does she get away with everything? 
So slowly in the background, team number one is building up resentment and, and building up frustration. Then all of a sudden, we've got salon owner, your bottle's filled up to the top. Then in the background, without you knowing, we've got stylist one, your excellent team member whose bottle's filling up as well, right to the top. And what happens when the bottle is right to the top? The bottle explodes. It goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. So as a salon owner, your bottle's exploding, stylist one exploding, and stylist two who keeps on rocking up and doing their own thing probably doesn't really care or maybe their bottle's filling up because they really want some direction. So please don't wait till your bottle fills up and you explode. Don't be the salon owner with the full bottle. Start to have those conversations today. Start to have those conversations about um, how you're feeling. Start to put some systems in place if you don't have them. So make sure that you have your standards of procedures and you lay down the expectations and the rules of your salon. It could be as easy as in our salon, we start at 9 a.m., but we really need to get here at 10 to because we like to be ready for the day. We're ready to rock. We love to focus. We love to see the day. So always have a reason why you do things and explain it and make it really clear to your team. And then if it's not happening, have those tough conversations. Say the unspeakable, say what needs to be said. Even though it might be a little bit scary, don't be the salon owner that gets to the, your bottle filled up and, and explodes. Every time you externalize what you're thinking and what you're feeling, the bottle starts to empty again. So we call it cleaning the bottle in our salon. Every time we have any resentment or something's gone wrong, we externalize at the end of the day and make sure things happen. Hope this has been helpful. Hope you clean the bottle. If your bottle's getting full, please feel free to send me a message and let's brainstorm some ideas on how to get that empty again. You deserve it. You deserve a, a great a business and you deserve to feel good during that time as well. Have a wonderful weekend. Hope this has been helpful, this visual of cleaning the bottle. Um, and stay safe. Speak soon.